Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the couch with the two stinky pups, and uh, we're doing a little update and unboxing today. So the first thing I want to start out with and say is that I've got some slightly bad news. Um, I did want to go camping. Uh, if you'll remember a while back, or maybe two or three weeks ago, I did a hike and cook to my bushcraft camp, which I wanted to return with both the boys here, and there would be enough room to perfectly squish three sleeping pads, and I was going to do that this week. And then, well, last Sunday we had the, the Easter egg hunt. And if you'll remember, Monty was attacking one of his friends, Frodo, pretty aggressively. And, well, his limp has returned. And it's, it's pretty rough. It's been, he's definitely limping on his right paw. Um, because sometimes he doesn't want to put it on the ground and he's just got it lifted up and he's just been limping pretty good So I couldn't do any sort of hiking with him. He has been potato all week Just like this mashed potato laying in uh, a couple times when we're not paying attention him and Ruger go on yard and You can hear Monty just arr, 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 doing his thing and we have to stop him, but yeah, we're uh, taking him to the vet, and what, what I think we're going to do is, I'm not sure if it's like a new injury that happened because of that fighting, that's just my guess, is that it probably happened from him getting too aggressive with R Frodo, but it could he could have stepped on something. We found a little, like, healed cut on his puppy pad, and we just, we just don't know what it is. So it could be in the same injury from before, could be the limes again, could be a new injury altogether. We don't know, we're going to the vet, and then if we can't figure it out, we're probably going to end up taking him to a specialist. And uh, there, I know there's something you can do that will guarantee he'll fi uh, figure it out, but it'll be very expensive. And I don't know if he has to go under. We don't really want to put Monty under. So it's a big poop. You know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? We just, I got to take care of him. And, you know, it's spring now. Spring has sprung. There's, like, no snow anywhere. And... I always like to do a uh, solo spring adventure and if he's limping around you know I have like the choice of either going alone going with Rugs, or maybe going with Monty and not really going far just kind of like going in set up I don't know I don't know what the plan is the reason I always bring Monty is because Monty is first mate he poops McToots and he is very good in the back of the boat he is at home Ruger he needs a little more training. I don't know if he'll ever quite get to the level that Monty is because he just, he can't help himself but want to go after the uh, fishing lures. You know, he needs a lot of work to just want to sit still in the boat and just ignore me. He always likes to see what I'm doing. You know, I'm a, I'm a big play thing for the old Rugs here, so he always likes to know what I'm doing. Whether I'm waving stuff around, he thinks it's a toy for him. But he's a chill guy, other than that. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm definitely going to do some sort of spring trip. I, I just, you know, he can sit in the back of the boat and just sit at a campsite, but portaging is something he can't do. So I'll probably end up taking him here in the next week or so to a spot where I can go canoe camping with Monty and we don't have to portage. We can just set up at the lake and just uh, fish. And he can just chill in the back of the boat till we get to camp. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Stinky. So, yeah. That's the bad news. Uh, uh, I definitely want to go out this week. So we'll see if I bring Monty. We'll see if I bring Ruger. I just, if Monty's coming, there's going to be no hiking involved for now until we figure out what the heck's going on with him. If Ruger comes, I can do whatever. So, yeah. That's where we're at for that. So anyways, there's not really anything else crazy going on. I'm sure you can see some light shining. Funk's got uh, some fluorescent lights set up with her little veggies over here. Maybe I'll insert a little clip of them. She's growing some veggies for our garden this year. Don't know if I'll do any garden videos or not, but uh, yeah. Yeah, me and Captain uh, Teeny Trout definitely plan on doing something this summer. Uh, Funk would like to come along for an adventure. Uh, yeah. There's, there's going to be some fun adventures. Of course, we're going to do some extended adventures. I just hope Monty is ready by the spring, which is going to be like a month from now. We're going to definitely do our first spring one. I'm thinking what I'll do, worst case scenario, is probably 
just take it easy on Monty and set up at a spot where there's not a lot of portages and we'll just do a lot of hanging in the boat fishing, a lot of fishing, and just not move as far. Because, you know, the old Mont Stinky, that's that's what he lives for, is those those boat rides, the wind in his face. Ruger, Ruger lives for the play, the adventure, the aspect of chase, the chase of whatever you decide to throw or have him look for. Right, Rooks? He doesn't prefer the boat. I think Monty loves the boat. So anyways, other than that, we've got some packages here that were sent to me by you guys, my subscribers. So, I first want to say thank you very much for all the letters that you guys sent. I read them all. Thank you for all the comments you send on the channel and subscribe to the channel and all the views. You know, it's it's gotten a lot bigger from where we started and I just want to say thank you everyone for all the sharing and everything. I still read every single comment. Sometimes it takes me a while, and uh, you'll notice if I go on like a, a week-long trip, it takes me like almost three weeks to catch up on those comments, because I always make sure to release videos, auto-release on Sundays, and if I leave on like a, a Saturday, and then a video comes out, and then I go camp, and I can't get back to any of those comments, any of the other comments, and then I get home, and I'm just unpacking from the trip, and then another video releases, and I don't get to any of those comments, it just takes me so long to get back, but I'll get to them eventually. Uh, we haven't been defeated by the amount of comments yet. So, let's do some unboxing. What do you think? Well, there's stuff for us. I mean, there's not. I don't care. Oh. All right. First, we're going to start with packages that are sent by Amazon and companies. So this one... Is by Thrift Books. It feels like it's a book. Burger, I don't think you're going to like this one. Shackleton's Way. It doesn't have a cover. Shackleton's Way, Leadership Lessons from the Great Antarctic Support, or Explorer. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to read this right now, but uh, yeah, seems like it could be a good read, and uh, I'll definitely read it at some point, probably bring it out camping. I don't do a ton of reading. Pretty much the only reading I do is, uh, for books wise, is when I'm out camping. So it'll have to come out there for me to read it. <laughs> so thank you very much whoever sent it. It does not say. Put this off to the side. Then we've got something from Arrowhead Woodcraft. We've got a letter. Okay. So Toby has said that he has sent a handmade fire steel made from Mexican bacote and birch pan or paw inlay and white tail antler cap and bead. Ooh, a who? Burger, I bet burger smells the antler. <laughs> Oh yeah, that seems nice and high quality. Ooh, that feels nice. I'll get a close up of that one. That's beautiful. Let's even got like the paw print cap. Awesome. All right. Well, I will definitely be giving this a shot at some point. Maybe we can get like a a double legendary one strike fire where it's a one strike without pre-scraping on a freshly new fire steel. Mm. Mm. Right Rooks? You want it? Get it Rooks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this isn't a toy. No, no. Okay, so thank you very much once again, Toby. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing PJs, it's because I'm in my house you know, you'd think that you want to get all dressed up and nice looking if you're showing yourself on the internet, but I don't care. I just want to be comfortable. <laughs> I'm in my house. I'm not going to put on pants. Real pants. <laughs> 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 
Okay, we got one from Amazon. I don't know any of you out there that get allergies. Uh, might have been getting me a little bit. It's, it's starting, like I'm getting the tickly nose. I'm getting just slight, just tickly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I can see what this one is. First we're gonna see if we got a, all right, we've got one. Okay, this is from Mika. We've got some Japanese curry, instant noodle ramens. Oh yeah, I love these. You know, don't get me wrong, they're probably not the healthiest thing, but will I ever stop eating these delicious little salty cups of just instant noodles when I'm just feeling hungry in the random time? No, I will never stop eating these. <laughs> so, thank you very much. He says it doesn't taste like Thai curry. Uh, it's Japanese curry. So, yeah, cup noodle curry. Number one curry instant noodles in Japan. Confirmed. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much, Mika. I will definitely be munching on these later. Probably today. Nati, you are just so patiently waiting for something for you. I mean, look at him. Look at this specimen. He's been recently... He's been recently bathed and brushed by Funk. Not me, I mean. I couldn't make him look this good. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one who messes him up, gets him in the mud, takes him in the water. Funk makes him look just suave and handsome. I mean, look at this guy. Ruger does too. Funk didn't, uh, she bathed him, but didn't brush him out like she did Monty. Yeah, yeah, you didn't get your brushing yet, huh? No. But Monty's just like, well, is there gonna be something for me? Cause I'm trying to be the goodest boy, but I, I'd like something to keep me going, please. You'll get one of these. One of these, Monty. I promise. And if it's not in here, we've got more stuff that are that we can just pull out and give you a treat. So we've got a package from Amazon with no letter, but of course, Monty, you get what you've been requesting this whole time. <laughs> we've got... Chew treat or uh, healthy edibles, natural chew treats wild with real venison, and it's got an elk with half antlers on there. Oh yeah, real venison pea protein. You guys want a treat? Do you want a treat? Look at that head tilt. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here, boys. Oh, it's a. Simmer down rooms, okay. That's well, a good thing I didn't. Ah, rooms are right. up, 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 up. All right, sit down, sit down, lay down. All right, Monty, you stay. Ruger, sit pretty. Good boy, good boy, good boy. All right. I did not want to try these because these definitely smell like dog treats. And I'm, I have no problem tasting dog treats, but uh, yeah, not these ones. <laughs> so whoever sent these, it did not say, uh, thank you very much. I'm sure usually if someone sends like multiple things, it'll sometimes come in different packages and the letter will be another one I've learned. So maybe it's in there, maybe it just didn't send one. But anyways, thank you very much. Monty, you got to stop dropping it. I don't want to pick up your slobbery mess. It's like, I just don't want to move. Please don't drop it. What? You're gross. Oh, look at all this drool. Oh. Oh. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Monty. It's so gross. It's all over the couch. Oh my gosh, Monty. That's not disgusting. Just kidding, it is. Okay, we have got another Amazon package. What do we got here? We got a letter. So, Kevin has sent us something to check temperatures, it seems, 
below 20 degrees, negative 20. We've got an elementum two barometer, compass, thermometer, weather forecast, altimeter, pedometer, calorie counter, stopwatch. Ooh. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely have to try this out in winter. Okay, so it's got, yeah, it's got the time. I don't know uh, how reliable these are, but uh, definitely when I was doing that trip where it got down to negative 50 Fahrenheit that one morning, um, well, we weren't outside, but anyways, when it was below negative 20, we couldn't tell what the temperature was. So it'll be interesting to compare this because Jake had a digital one. It wasn't nice or anything. It was definitely a cheapo something. And it was reading way different from my uh, little thermometers. So I'll definitely give this a shot. We'll have to see next winter. I mean, I could even bring it out uh, canoe camp. We'll see how accurate the temperatures are. Uh, I do my my watch. I do have a temperature reading on my watch. It's just it, it's not very accurate. And you have to have it off for a while. So yeah, we'll give it a shot. So uh, thank you very much once again, Kevin. Look forward to giving that a shot. Okay, it's 22.1 Celsius. Celsius, what a weird, what a weird way to read temperature. All right, well, I'm gonna mess with this later. It's 22.6 Celsius in my house. I'm gonna change that to Fahrenheit, cause uh, yeah, I'm curious to see. I mean, I'm sure holding it in my hand is gonna make it warmer. Anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with this more later. We got something from Candy Mafia. Hmm, could be dog treats, could be candy for me, Rubes. Don't know, huh? Are you are you curious? Are you curious, critter? Are you a curious critter? What is it, Rooks? You wanna help me open it? Get a Rooks. Get a Rooks. Get a Rooks. Help me open it. Come on. Come on, Rooks. Get it. Get it. Yeah, get it. Get a Rooks. Open it. Open it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get a Rooks. Yeah, open it up. Come on. Come on. All right, Monty, get it. Get it, Monty. Get it, Monty. Come on, open it. Open it. Oh, there we go. All right, both of you guys, come on, get it. Get it. Open it. Rouge, you're here. Come on, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get him, Monty. Open it. It better be for them. Get it, guys. Get it. Oh, jeez, Rouge. Yeah, what is it, Rouge? Get it, Rouge. You gonna get it? Get it, Rouge. Oh, oh, okay. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a letter. Okay. All right, all right, sir. Oh, all right. Oops. Enjoy your gift, since this is your favorite flavor from Lady Moon Goddess. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, tropical Starburst, but just the orange flavor. These are my absolute favorite candy, and specifically this flavor. That's great. <laughs> candy Mafia. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Lady Moon Goddess. That's sweet. Um, sorry, boys, it's not for you. <laughs> they got so hyped up. Oh, all right, we gotta we gotta give them another piece of that that those uh, chewable things quick. <laughs> Look at them now; they're all just like, "What the heck is that? What the heck?" <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for the candy. I'll definitely be looking forward to these. Uh, my first canoe trip. I'm gonna save them for the first spring trip. Right, Monty? Huh? All right. Up, up, twirl. All right, sit, sit pretty again. You gotta sit pretty. What are you doing, twirl? Over here, sit, sit pretty. Good boy. Where you got plastic from the thingy tore apart? All right, Monty, drool. Oh, good, good job. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Good drool. Great. Just exactly what I wanted. <laughs> good boys. Okay. All right. Next one, they, they, uh, we've got another Amazon package. 
Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, Monty. Is this? Okay, so this is uh, from Mika again. More ramen noodles. Same thing, same deliciousness, and I'll definitely be eating them all. Well, now I guess Funk will get six and I'll get six because she likes ramen just as much as I do and I can't, I'm not a greedy person, so I can't, you know, as much as I'd like to just devour three at a time, I, I take it easy, you know, the sodium is a lot. So <laughs> anyways, thank you very much. Monty, why are you so stinky? Why are you so stinky? Okay, we've got one from Bayou One. Bayou One. Okay, what do we got here? Do we got a letter? Is that a letter? I'm not seeing a letter. So what we've got here, there's no letter. Wait. No letter. Wait. Just doesn't say. So whoever sent this has sent me a solar slash hand crank lantern from Rothko. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. top kind of popped off. I think I'm going to have to re-glue that. It, uh, the little solar panel. It's not, it's not broken. I just think the glue might have just came undone. So I have to be careful with that. But I'm curious about... Does it come? Okay, it's got no charge. I'm curious. Alright. Actually, maybe I should read the directions first. I didn't see, there is no directions. Solar panel. Hand crank for one minute provides 20 minutes using LED, 18 LED mode. All right, let's do it. We're gonna do it for a minute here, boys. We're gonna like this. I don't know if like, doing it fast or slow is like, I mean, obviously I think faster would be better, but I don't want to, I don't want to break it. You know what I mean? All right. I think that's been a minute. Hey, <laughs> it works. That's great. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I'll definitely have to uh, glue this lid back on, but uh, I've never had a little crank up uh, device, so that's pretty sweet. So whoever sent me this, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, this isn't something I'm not gonna bring out canoe camping because obviously it's a little big, but definitely car camping, uh, deer camp, whatever, something like that, definitely more practical. So uh, yeah, thank you very much once again. Lay down. Oh, my, my fly is open on my PJs, Monty. Why didn't you tell me? Pretty rude of you, don't you think? I don't know what could have been shown. Come on, old Limpy, lay down. Lay down, old Limpster. Old Limpy, that's your new nickname, old Limpy. Old Limpy. And you're Olympian, because you're jumping like crazy and you're just a wild thing. Okay, we have got a package from Jason. Okay, we have got a letter. Okay, so Jason has sent me an Amazon gift card and a electronic thermometer hygrometer. Okay, so let's see. So what we've got here is a Govi smart thermal hygrometer, smart thermal hygrometer. So what it does is 
I go out and it records the temperature and then I attach it to an app and it'll record for, I think you said 20 days. Okay, yeah, 20 days and the battery lasts for years. So let's check this thing out. Nice, okay. So I just pull this out and it'll just add, uh, read the data and then when I get home or whatever, I just plug it into a thing and I can find the accurate data. That's pretty sweet. The only thing he said is it only goes down to negative 20 so it wouldn't have worked for that trip where it got crazy cold, but I don't know how many more of those trips I'm ever gonna do. <laughs> it's not that we planned that trip uh, like that. It's just that the temp we, we, well, we planned the trip for the dates and it got colder and colder as the, the trip got closer and we weren't canceling, so yeah. But uh, yeah, this will definitely work in winter. I'll be able to check out the temperatures like when I come home. That's pretty sweet. So it's a little different from the other thing I got because that'll tell you the temperature now. This will tell you, I mean, if I had my phone with the app on me, I'm sure I could use it, but I don't normally do that, so I'll do it when I get home. But yeah, this will tell me the temp maybe more accurately. It's always fun to know the temperatures to me. I like to know how cold it was. And it's not like it doesn't really matter what the temperature is. It's just fun to know kind of with how I feel. But, you know, like if I felt like it was a little chilly and it happened to be warm, I'd be like, what the heck? So it's just, it's just one of those things. So yeah, thank you very much. And then he sent me an Amazon gift card. So I'll definitely put this toward good use here. It'll probably go towards these guys' treats or supplements or something I need for camping. So thank you very much once again, Jason. Look forward to checking that thing out, seeing if it's temperature accurate. Okie dokies. We've got one from Keeley in Florida. That's how they say Florida there. They say it like Florida. I live in Florida. <laughs> I'm from Florida, yeah. Okie dokies. We have got a letter. We've got a letter. It's a letter, Lucas. Well, are we going to read it? So, Keely has said that she painted something that inspired her. Oh, that's sweet. Awesome. So we've got a painted rock of a moment from the best channel moments. That's great. It's Puppy Rugs cuddling into Puppy Monty. That's awesome. Looks pretty dang good. Uh, she said she has a video of her uh, doing the process on her uh, YouTube channel Random Rock Paints. Always love a good little art piece of the boys or something, you know? So yeah, thank you very much once again, Keely. Funk's gonna love that. Oakley Doakleys. We have got a package from... It's Jennifer and Jason or Jennifer and Jason? I'm gonna assume Jennifer with a G. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that spelling before. So if it's Jennifer and, and I say Jennifer, I'm sorry. Just, it could be Jennifer and I'm saying Jennifer. I don't know. Unless someone tells me, I just don't know. Okay? I do my best and I forget the rest. We've got a letter. It's got to be Jennifer. I'm sorry I said Jennifer. Oh. Okay, so Jennifer and Jason uh, said that they have sent some freeze-dried carrots grown from their hometown in Palmer, Alaska. Okay. So, freeze-dried pet treats. Farm Fresh, Alaska Glacier Bites, Carrot Crisps, Alaska Roan. I know these boys love carrots. They do. Uh, Ruger more than Monty. 
what I'm curious is, you know, if it's ingredients, raw carrots. Okay. Okay, that means if it's just raw carrots, I mean, there can't be too much harm for me eating these pet treats, right? 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 Hold on, hold on guys. Maybe they meant them to, to, for me. Okay, let's, let's simmer down. That's one of the most pleasant dog treats I've ever eaten. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Up up. Up up. Troll. 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 Burger. Troll. Alright, good boys. Good boys. Oh, Monty, you just swallowed that. Alright, sit. 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 Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, Monty. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, all right. Can you speak? All right, we, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go there. Okay, good boys. Yeah, those aren't bad. I bet those are some of the healthiest dog treats. Just carrots. Those are sweet. Anyways, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Um, Monty, you look so precious with your little paws on my lap. You guys want one more? These can't be bad for them. I mean, they're carrots. You know, too much of something is never a good thing, but uh, they could probably eat more of these than, you know, most treats. So anyways, yeah, these are some tasty dog treats. I can confirm that. <laughs> so thank you very much once again, Jennifer and Jason. We're going to put these up to the side, okay? No more treats for right this second, okay? Can I get up, Monty? Monty, can I, can I get up? How about, how about one more? Just, just... Just one more, maybe, perhaps. Let me wet my lips with uh, delicious carrots, please. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right, good boys. Over here, over this way. No, 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 Monty, no. I don't want you hopping up and down. Just stay in one spot, you potato. The problem with his little limp is that he does not care about the pain. Lay down, lay down. So he wants to run and jump and play, and it just makes it worse, and it hurts me to watch him limping, so it's just like one of those weird things. Okay, we have got a package from Alistair. Um, Alistair Woodland in uh, Australia. Australia, from down under, mate. Oh jeez! Oh yeah, see, Ruger's Ruger knows. His nose knows. Okay. Oh jeez, we gotta see if there's a letter first. Okay, oh simmer down, Ruger. Okay, I I see that you see. We gotta find a letter. I feel like you guys have sent me something before. And I'm pretty sure I mean, you mentioned Rugus, simmer down. Okay, I do not see a letter. But anyways, uh, this is something I've got before and this is a great treat. It is bags of beef jerky. <laughs> it's uh, Skahuna's Beef Jerky Smoky BBQ. Skahuna's Beef Jerky Black Pepper. We've got Mild Chili and Fear Carolina Reaper. Oh no. Oh, oh! part of me thinks that I am bound by duty to eat some of this on camera, but the other, other part of me is just like, I'm going to want Funk here to suffer with me. You know, we're going to save this, this Carolina Reaper jerky for camping with somebody, whether it's Funk or, you know, Captain Teeny Trout or Jake, because he gave me those Carolina Reaper jelly beans. Ooh, that'd be a good, that's a good trick for Jake. Hopefully it's so spicy that it's insane. And I'll just, 
I'll just put it in a bag of normal beef jerky. I'll be like, here you go, Jake. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha We're going to get many people with this. <laughs> okay, we're not going to try that one right now. We're going to try the mild chili. Normally, I wouldn't eat uh, beef jerky. I save it because, you know, it's just too hard to, you know, put away. But these are resealable and I've got like four. Oh, I've got more of them. Hold on, hold up, hold on. We got white pepper, ooh, that's gonna be spicy, and honey soy. Okay, we're still trying the mild chili. This is the one I want. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. good jerky you know I prefer jerky where you can't talk after you eat a piece you need a minute it's not just so soft that you can just swallow it down like a piece of meat that's some good stuff mm -hmm. anyways they also got some kangaroo tasty treats uh, for dogs pet food only and some hypro duck tasty chews, hypro premium, Australia's hypro premium. So let's see if we can get you both to choose the same one. Which one do you want, Monty? Which one? One treat? Which one? Touch, 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 touch. We two chose the duck treats. Let's see what Ruger chooses. Touch. Oh, they both chose the duck treats. Touch again. Oh, touch, touch. Touch. They, they both chose the duck treats twice, so we'll hold off on the, the kangaroo treats, even though that's what I wanted to give them. They choose, right? You guys get a say in the matter, don't you? All right, boys. Speak. 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 Oh, good boy, Rooks. All right, Monty, speak. 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 Hey! Ow! Speak. Rooks, it's okay. Go get that one. Go get that one. You can take it. Speak. 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 Your breath is terrible. Speak. Speak. Hold on. Speak once you did it. Speak. Oh, come on. No, do a real speak. 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 Get spit in my face, Monty. Speak. Just speak. Speak for real. Speak. Mont Ruger, leave it, leave it, leave it. Monty, speak. Come on, speak. Okay, there you go. Do you see see the difference when he's going like and then he goes like he needs to do a full blown. All right, good boy. You get you get double because you flicked away your other one that Burger got. Good boys. Okay, so one last thing. High pro premium balls. We got two blue balls. You guys want your blue balls? You guys ever had blue balls before? Well, here you go. Get it. Get it, my team. Good boys. All right. Monty just wants more treats. Ruger loves his blue ball. Okay, so thank you very much once again, Woodland Bros Camp or Alistair Woodland, as they are called now, or Harshland Camp. It's one of the three now. So, yeah, thank you very much once again, guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you missed them. You missed them. All right, we got a bigger box here. We got a big box here. From Heather. We got a box from Heather. MV Sport. Oh, we've got a letter. A letter. Okay. 
So, Michael and Heather from uh, GSM Outfitters said they were stuck with, they got the thing that's still going on, and uh, they um, watched my videos and they sent me some stuff. For, for me, Funk, and the boys, we got some stickers here. They're from the Smoky Mountains. We got a the mountain trout fish. I've seen this sticker before. I definitely have seen this sticker before. And then we got the Patagonia Live Simply sticker. And the Great Smoky Mountain sticker. Okay. And then they said they, they, said they sent me uh, some clothing here. Well, this seems like a real nice... Flannel. Who? Okay. Okay. All right. Now, clothing for me is always a challenge, especially long sleeves, because I've got these gangly long arms and a long torso, and I'm tall. So usually, I wish they made custom clothes with just like, you know, large tall is one thing, but large tall long. Long arm should be, it should be, you know, LT, it should be LTA for large torso, large arms. So we shall see. Let's try this thing out. This is a hefty, heavy duty flannel. An XL. All right. Not too bad. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's better than I was expecting. Or am, I, am I out of picture here? It's pretty good. Pretty good in the arms. Awesome. Um, I buttoned this up, but it's very warm. Uh, so I'm gonna probably take it off here. But anyways, yeah. Sweet, thank you very much. This is definitely cozy. And I'll definitely be wearing this in some colder weather, which is probably about this weather, spring weather. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. This is a Nomad Division Hippie Tree. XL. Awesome. Well, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, so thank you very much. Definitely going to set this off to the side, and I look forward to wearing it in, uh, you know, outside. Not inside, because it's too warm. Okay, and then this looks like... This is, yeah, this looks like it's for funk. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oops. Oops. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so she's got here a uh, Patagonia hoodie, a women's, let's see, birch white women's sweater coat. This definitely seems like funk style. She's going to love that. So yeah, thank you very much once again. She'll definitely be excited about that. She is not here right now, so you can't hear her reaction. She is training dogs today. Uh, for those of you that don't know, she's becoming a dog trainer, and she's starting to teach classes. So, she's moving up in the dog training world. And soon, I'm pretty sure soon, she'll be certified dog trainer. She's working on her hours and stuff. So anyways, yeah. Thank you once again. Set that up to the side. Actually, we're just going to play a fun little game when she comes home. I'm going to set it up here and be like, Hey, can you check out your hoodie? Make sure you wash your hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fun little game. And she's like, what's this? Did you buy me something? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, don't worry, Monty. Ooh, and then we've got Merino Wool Tactical Farm to Feet Socks. Oh yeah, those seem nice. I love a good new pair of socks. There is nothing better than putting on a brand new pair of socks for the first time. So Merino Wool, those are my favorite type of socks for the outdoors, so... So yeah, thank you. Sweet. Not gonna put them on now. I've got dragon's feet and I'll destroy them quick. So, we're not putting those on now. What do we got? And then we've got a Pro Weave sweatshirt blanket. Huh. little blanket oh 
get all tangled up in it. Okay, so it's a nice little blanket made out of like sweatshirt material. Ooh. Oh, what's going on out there? Uh oh. They're coming for us, boys! They're coming for us! Oh no, not us. Not us. Okay, awesome. That's a nice little blankie. For some reason I thought sweatshirt blanket, I thought it was gonna have like a the head hole in the middle. And like it was gonna be like you put it on and it's like uh what are those things called? It, it's one of those things, you know what I'm talking about. Definitely gonna set this off to the side before it's covered in dog hair. Bunks gonna wanna Bunks gonna wanna try these things out. Okay, and then we've got pocket disc. Huh. Interesting. So I'm assuming this is like a a camping frisbee. And it looks like it's for humans, but I can promise you that if that one is around, this will no, not be allowed to be a human toy. All right, let's let's see here. Bring here, Rose. Rose, up up here. Up, 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 ready Rooks? Oh, 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 he got it, oh, bring it here, bring it here, don't, okay, yeah, this is, ready? Yeah, Ruger is going to go crazy for that, so that could be like a camping frisbee, we'll have to be careful, because <laughs> he, he gets crazy for the frisbee. And I'm not gonna throw it outside right now, it's, it's raining. Oh, Monty wants it too. Oh, Monty. Okay guys, all right, all right, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no tug of war with this Monty. All right, Monty. All right, we're gonna get back, get back. Monty, come here. Come here, all right, Monty, ready? Ready to catch it? Can you catch it? Good boy, Monty, you did it. You did it, give it back here. Give it back, okay, all right, all right, good boys. So yeah, that's definitely something that they're going to enjoy. Uh, it seems like it's meant for people, which we'll probably use it too if we're having fun, but uh, if Ruger's out camping and, you know, I'm throwing this around, he will not have it. This is this is a Frisbee, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> he's, he's not going to let that go now, now that that happens. And then we've got a fly fishing sticker. Peel and stick. It's got the uh, breast cancer awareness and it's pink. Okay. Then what else do we got here? Oh jeez, boys. We got crunchy bones with pumpkin. Doggy, del doggy delirious. Doggy treats. And we also got pure and tasty ocean chews. Healthy natural rawhide alternative. Crispy cod fish skins. Ooh, large dog chews. Okay, well, I'm more curious about these. These look like some nice little like uh, milk bone sort of thing. So they'll definitely get these. But right now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see what these smell like because Dad's curious. Okay, Dad wants to see what these uh, fish skins are like. Okay, all right. So what do we got here? Ooh, oh yeah, those smell like fish. Hmm. Okay, boys, let's just... I have a feeling these are going to make a mess. They look like they're going to make a mess. You want one? Good boy. Hi, Monty, you want one? Good boys. Definitely smell fishy. Definitely smell fishy. 
Okay, so thank you very much for all the stuff, uh, Heather and Michael. Uh, definitely look forward to trying out that flannel, and I look forward to see Funk's reaction when she gets her little sweatshirt. So, uh, and Ruger's gonna really appreciate camping frisbee because this is something easy to bring. We don't ever bring a frisbee. We usually just use sticks, but this will be something. I would love to teach him if we can toss it into the water, which I these will probably sink, so we probably can't do that. But maybe they won't. Maybe they'll float. But anyways, thank you very much once again. We've got one final package. Package from Vanessa. From Vanessa. I have a sudden urge to want to just keep eating beef jerky and cook up a ramen. I don't know why. I have no clue why. But then I also smell fish. Weird. I just don't get it. Oh, key dogs. We have got, oh geez. Oh geez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh jeez. All right. Letta. Okay. Vanessa has sent a box of goodies and her recipe for Korean BBQ um beef jerky. So when next time I make venison jerky, we can try this out. It is bulgogi as marinade or sauce. Okay, awesome. Or wait, is this? Oh wait. Oh, no, it's a recipe for food, not for beef jerky. I get it now, I get it. Okay, so Korean BBQ or bulgogi. I'll probably try it out. I like cooking food, as you guys know. So awesome, let's see what we got here. So, we have got Larissa's Kitchen Korean Barbecue Beef Jerky. And then we've got Epic Bites Maple Glaze and Smoked Salmon Bites. Is this for human or dogs? We're in, it's gonna be hard to see. This seems like this is for humans. Okay, so we've got maple glaze and smoked salmon bites for humans. We are probably going to be trying that out here in a minute. Then we've got Sichuan pepper on, peppercorn tender beef steak strips, Lawrence's Kitchen. Okay. And then we've got sweet and savory bison and uncured bacon bites. Oh my gosh. Epic bites. Okay, then we have got, these are definitely for the dogs, oven baked beef kebabs, chicken liver and sweet, beef hide kebabs, little sweet potatoes, oh geez, these boys don't even have a clue what's, what's in here because they're just busy munching. And then we've got some venison bites, original hunter's recipe venison bites, epic bites. Oh, beef. So that's a me and funk treat right there. Hunter's Reserve Bison with Grass-Fed Beef Bites. Oh, jeez. That is for humans. Win for me. <laughs> and then we've got Nature's Choice Sweet Potato and Duck Stick Recipe Little Dog Sticks. Okay. Sweet Potato Wrapped with Chicken Little Dog Treats. Sweet Potato Wrapped with Chicken, another one of those. Duck Jerky Strips. Oh jeez, boys. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Triple flavor rib bones. More beef hide kebabs. Nature's Choice Chicken Wrapped Sweet Potato Biscuits. If dogs could understand the words I'm saying, they'd be just drooling right now. Triple flavor twists with chicken. Triple flavor rib bones. We've got Dentley's Dog Chews Gourmet Rawhide Stuffed rolls. <laughs> and then we've got Dentley's Dog Chews Nature Chews seven piece mighty mix for moderate and heavy chewers, natural beef. Oh, cow ears, cow hooves. Okay, big old chews. Awesome. And then, okay, and then we've got. Aussie chops, 
Cape Ostrich. Huh. Ostrich chews. Interesting. Single ingredient. So I think they're part of it. They're ostrich chews. I don't know what part of the ostrich, but they're ostrich chews. <laughs> so awesome. Okay. That is a pile of treats for the boys there. We'll get to that in a minute. They're still chewing on their chews. They'll, as soon as I say the words, they're going to drop those and move on to something else. But then we've got some spices. Coglin's multi-spice. we got curry, cayenne, garlic, salt, black pepper, salt, paprika, and yes, back to curry. Awesome. Thank you. I love having a nice little spice mix. I mean, I've got all sorts of things for all sorts of things. And lately, well, when I'm going on canoe camping, I just pack those little Nalgene's with the spice I want. But car camping, which I do do. And, and actually, me and Funk are actually going to do some car camping this week. I'm probably not going to make a video because, as you guys know, she doesn't want to be on YouTube yet. So we're probably just going to go out and have some springtime fun. But anyways, uh, we're not going to do any porridge or anything. So I'll, I like to bring stuff like this when I'm cooking. And it's just out of the car. So anyways, and last but not least, we got some orange paracord. I buy this exact stuff all the time and I go through tons of paracord, so awesome. So, thank you very much for all the stuff and the letter and the recipe. And uh, well, first things first, they're still chewing on their chew, so let's, we're gonna go ahead and try a uh, Epic Bites Maple Glaze and Smoked Salmon Bites made with 100% wild caught salmon. Part of me wants to say this, but also part of me thought it was dog treats, and when I learned it was for humans, it made me super curious, and I just have to try it now. I just opened that up, and both of them stopped. Both of them stopped chewing to look at me at the exact same time, and then the second I looked away from them, they both went back to their chews like immediately. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. They're pretty good. Hmm. They're pretty good. I'll, I'll always like beef jerky the best, but I've never had fish jerky. I've had smoked fish, which isn't quite like this. It's a little more wet, but mm, definitely good. So awesome. Rest is for the same for another day, um, but it's a boy's term. So, let's see if we can get Monty. You want a treat? You want a treat? Come here. Ruger, treat, no treat? Okay, boys. Dad's gonna pick between two that seem like you can just gobble them up quick. Okay, so we're gonna go with Nature's Choice Sweet Potato and Duck Stick Recipe or Nature's Choice Chicken Wrap Sweet Potato Biscuits. All right, Ruger, you have an important decision to make we're going to let you both pick, and if you both pick the same one, we're going to go with that one. Touch. Okay, he touched the chicken wrap sweet potato biscuits. Let's do the same thing. Monty, you ready? Look. Look at, see them both. See them both. You can't just look at one. All right. Touch. Oh, they both touch. They both touch the chicken wrap sweet potato biscuits. All right, boys. All right, let's, this is a pile of treats. You guys are going to just, endless amounts of treats, boys. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. Well, of course, the camera stopped recording. See, that, that thing only records for 10 minutes at a time, so uh, it shut off after I had fed these guys some treats. And they did some tricks, and it was actually kind of funny because Monty was just doing his Monty thing. So I guess you get some more treats, boys. They already got two of these each. So uh, sit. 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 All right, sit pretty. Sit, all right, sit pretty, Rooks. Good boy. Now we all know that Monty needs help sitting pretty, so sit pretty, Monty. Sit pretty. Good boy. <laughs> there you go. Good boys. 
All right. So, thank you very much for all the treats, Vanessa. And uh, everyone else, thank you very much for all the stuff and all the letters. And what are you doing, Monty? Go ahead and eat that thing. Thanks again for all the comments on the videos and the watching and the sharing and all of it. So, uh, yeah, I definitely am going to get out camping this week. Um, I'd like to get out camping uh, with Monty, but I don't know. He's got a vet appointment tomorrow. I don't know. And I'd also like to get out with Funk, so I might go camping twice this week. I might not. Who knows? If I take Monty, I'm going to be car camping a canoe, and otherwise, I'm going to be out with Ruger. So, anyways, I'm going to get to editing and get this online, so I will check you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Funk's home. She just pulled in. Funk. What? Wash your hoodie. What hoodie? Your new hoodie that you got sent. Aww. Cute. Oh <gasps> man. It really stinks in here. It's the fish treats. Oh. It's the fish treats. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!